you hear a beep? Are we beeping? Yes. Ah, there we go. <sighs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the 12 Beards of Christmas. How are you tonight? Great. That's I'm awesome. Fine. Hey, you good? I'm doing great. Yeah. Have you met my friend Andy? Great laddie. Yes. How are you, Mark? I'm very well. Very well. Very That's well. lovely. I can't do it as good as you. <laughs> you just got a talent there. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys know what we're doing here? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I think we're drinking beer. We're drinking beer. Well, which actually we're critiquing beer. I wonder if we're like expert beer drinkers with the amount of beer we've drank. Definitely pro class. Pro class for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Not really scientific about it, but we just no. oh, we just pound. We're good at it. <laughs> yeah, we are good at it. We've got some stories and some skills. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, too funny. We just like doing this. That's why we're doing these videos. Yeah. That's why we want to share. It's fun. Yeah, and we we are big, 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 passionate craft beer guys. Yes, and I mean big. Yes. Yes. Ooh, ooh. It's getting there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're not getting any exercise. Nah, I know. You'll be my size in no time. That's what I'm aiming for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You knew what was going to happen. Yeah, there was that burp <laughs> I was looking for between the breaks. Uh, uh, anyways, 12 beers at Christmas. Uh, what we're trying to do is just bring you uh, some really cool beers that we've tried and enjoyed throughout the year. Uh, we did it last year. We're doing it again this year. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, a combination of, you know, strong beers, IPA beers, and then also what we would call the average kind of craft beer for the average beer drinker. Yes. Right? Excuse me again. But craft brewery. No, I can't stop. Craft brew. Burp. Craft. Burp. 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 Anyways, why don't we uh, pull one out before I keep uh, gassing out here. And uh, let's see what we're going to pull out. <laughs> I really shouldn't have said it that way, should I? You <laughs> <laughs> see what I can find. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 it's way over there. Hey, where, 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 where's your other hand? Cylindrical. Oh, upside down. <laughs> upside down beer. And it is upside down. Look at the name. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's cool, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so try a welly. Not a willy, a welly. So this is a Wellington Upside IPA. Hazy, juicy, and tropical. It is a strong beer. It's 6.8% alcohol. Oh, we're in trouble. Got little lightning bolts on it and a zeppelin, which sort of looks like a pumpkin if you go like that. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a pumpkin? Yes, it does. It like so it's pumpkin. not a pumpkin beer, it's an IPA. So, let's take a look. Fancy smancy. Over to you. Mr. Over to me. Reader. I'm the Mr. Can Reader. So, yes. <laughs> International Bitterness Unit. Thank you. You're welcome. Is 58. Uh, so what does that tell us? It's going to be a little bit bitter. Bitter and I'd call it hoppy as well. <laughs> uh, so we'll have some, there'll be a strong taste to this one for sure. Uh, what else is it telling us here? It's a pale golden color. Uh, upside is exploding with juicy grapefruit, mm. peach, and tropical hop flavors. This New England style IPA has a hazy appearance, initially a soft mouth feel, and balanced bitterness. Excuse me. Feel? You kind of got hooked on that, didn't you? Wow. It's not like the other night. <laughs> which, which allows the fiber and the dry, okay, hot, then. <laughs> dry hot flavors to strive. Bursting with fresh citrus hop character, this tasty IPA is on the up and up. Nice. Although we had it upside down when we first pulled it out. That was a trick I just did. That was. Did there you go? That was very tricky. Uh, good thing it didn't explode. So let's take care of Andy first. Thank you. Dun, da, da, da. That's good. Yeah, it's got that nice hazy color to it. Eh? It's hard to oh, tell with all the friggin' foam you put in there. What the heck? You know, while well, that, that is, that head's a bit big. But typically what you're supposed he, to... 
You're supposed to pour your beers and give it a little head because it's like that an orange on a toothpick. Releases some of the gases so they don't end up in your belly and you don't end up burping during videos. Yes. Right? Sorry, I'm stuck on what? So I'm married an axe murder. <laughs> heed your pants no. <laughs> Look at the size of that uh, man's heed. You know, you got a soft It's like an orange on a toothpick. Well, you can smell it. Oh, cheers. Cheers. You can smell it? Smell it. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's one, tropical. Of our, one of our favorite smells. Oh. Mm. Definite uh, oh, fruit that's... in the joints. Yeah, I know, but you know what? I know. I found, like I was expecting, because especially with the 58 uh, IBU. That'll come in after. No, but I just thought it would be a lot more of a slap in the face. This is very smooth. A slap in the face? Yeah, please. <laughs> Anyways, I found it to be uh, a, little, uh, a little less sharp. Not, a, not as sharp as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it, it's, more, it's more after the fact. Like the aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, then the it's dinner just kicks in. It's got a pleasant aftertaste. Yeah. I actually, I really like this beer. It's, it's very good beer. This is the first time I'm having this one, too. Oh, really? You yeah. haven't had this one before? I have not had this one before. Oh, I thought you had. No. no. I've had it before. Well, I realize that. And I like it. And I oh, like it a lot. I realize that, too. But that's actually quite nice. I really like that. What would that pair with? Hmm. I'm picturing ribs. I don't know why, it just ribs came to me. My first instinct, gut instinct... With a sweet Alabama sauce. Was a curry. Oh, with curry, yeah. Curry with a naan bread. Curry roti. Oh, cur yeah, curry roti. Oh, curry roti. Yeah, curry roti. And yeah. some Alabama slime on ribs. That would be good. Yeah. That would be delicious. Separate meals, so yeah. I wouldn't want to combine the no. two. Uh, but I really, that's, you know what, uh... I highly recommend that. That's a good drinking IPA. Yeah, I would as well. Even with the IBUs at 50, yeah, I think you, the uh, the nice peach follow through is actually maybe mellowing it out a bit. Yeah, and don't when when you have a beer like this, don't get thrown off by the hazy, the haziness no. of, of the beer. I know that when I first tried an IPA and I looked at it and it was hazy like this, I went, oh man, there's chunks floating around in my beer, but it's not. It's it's just. The overall appearance and texture of the beer, and when you drink it, it really gives that full burst of tropical flavor that uh, Mark was talking about with the peach coming in there as well. So, if you're not an IPA drinker and you want to give this a try, I'd highly recommend it. It's not overpowering. Uh, there is a little bit of bitterness after the fact from your first taste, but the overall flavor of this beer is outstanding. And it, I, I think it would be a, a great gift for for, for us. Yeah, buy me some. Yeah, buy us beer. Put it under the tree. Yeah. No, I agree. I uh, I'm actually kind of surprised at how. Oh, we gotta get. Uh, well, we're being told to cut, eh? Really? Yeah, that's what I got. Eight right. minutes. Uh, anyways, we'll end it. Uh, highly recommend. Wellington's a pretty good brewery, right? Yeah. They're out of what? Kitchener, Cambridge area. I think it's Kitchener. Is it? Um, I really, really enjoy this beer. It's a nice beer, um, smooth, easy drinking. I really love the way that peach comes in and kind of mellows it out. Yeah. It doesn't feel as strong as you would think it's going to be, especially at what? Guelph. Six point, oh, Guelph. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Wellington. Um, we should go visit them. We should. After we do a ride there at the yeah. Guelph. Guelph Lake. Um, anyways. Yep. Try this one. Uh, for sure, I highly recommend it. Andy recommends it. It's the uh, two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. And uh, let us know what you think. Uh, leave a comment uh, or send us any kind of feedback if you've already had it, what your your impressions are. Uh, if you've done any food pairings, let us know what those are, which have, which have been uh, successful. Sorry. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good to get some ideas. For yeah, sure. Shoot us what you've done with the beer. Uh, I like know. And that's it. I guess thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've uh, found it inspiring. And we'll see you at the next video. Merp. Bet. I didn't <laughs> Take care.